Hello everyone, I'm Yvette of Uniquely Yvette. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. This week we're going to be doing this Frankenstein monster for Halloween. And I have this template here and I've planed down a piece of wood that is, I planed it down to a half inch thick. And let me see how wide it is. This wood happens to be seven and a quarter inches wide and I planed it down to a half inch thick. So this monster is going to be nine inches wide by about uh, 11 and a half inches tall. About that. It's a little small. I guess I should have made it a little bigger, but whatever. Anyway, so I used my carbon paper to put the template on here, the basic shape of his head and his body on here. I forgot to put these little bolts in his neck on here. I mean to trace them out. I think I'm just going to put them separate. One thing I did do is I did the curves of his body down here and I made sure it ended at this flat edge, which I cut off with the miter saw so that it's completely flat. That way when I sit him up, which I hope he will sit up, I will make sure he can sit up. <laughs> you know, it has a flat surface and not something I have to cut with the scroll saw. I'm doing his shoes separately of the same with the same thickness that is traced here. I'm going to be overlaying these different pieces like his eyes, his unibrow, <laughs> his hair, his collar, and these patches and buttons. I'm going to all overlay those with quarter inch thick wood, I think. But for his body and his shoes, they'll be a half inch thick. So let's get over to the scroll saw and cut out these shapes so we can move forward. I cut the Frankenstein man out, his head and his body. I have the shoes cut out, but, and I've also on this quarter inch plywood, I've traced out all the overlapping pieces. I've also traced out the heels again on this quarter inch so that I can put heels that raise up from this main piece on his shoes. Before I cut the buttons out, I'm going to use my drill to make these buttonholes here, the two buttons. And then I'll cut the, the circles out. ended up redoing the pockets in this 1 8 inch thickness because I felt like the the quarter inch was just too thick. I also redid the buttons because I felt like they were too thick and they were also too small. I mean, and I think that I made the button the holes just too big for the size of these tiny buttons. I don't like them that thickness, so I just got rid of it. Plus, I can't really sand in the holes so i'm just going to let my paint make the holes and just leave them like this i put lines here so i would know where i want this opening to be around the collar and i'm going to do that a different color so now i'm going to move to painting and as i figure out what colors to use i'll write it on the screen as usual and i'm just not going to talk i'm just going to paint
Okay, now it's time to start putting this guy together. Now I'm a little disappointed about how it looks right, right his neck. I didn't realize that I just really wouldn't like that just flat transition here. It just goes straight down. I should have perhaps made the body a little thinner than the head so that they have we have this rise here so the head seems to be more forward but I'm not going back and changing anything so it is what it is so I think I'm going to start out by putting his hair on the top that's the easiest to know where it belongs I'm going to use both hot glue and my transparent glue because uh, my Elmer's clear glue because I find when I have my project sitting around the stupid pot glue just give and I should stop only using it there we go now we're ready for the eyebrow Look at his eyes I'm going to try to place them at the same time we've got the eyes and eyebrow and hair on I'm going to I think I'm going to choose black to do his mouth the inspirational piece doesn't have a 3d type mouth and scars it has just kind of painted on so I'm just going to use my paint pen here to do that as well and now I'm going to put on his bolts and now it's time to put the shirt collar or jacket collar or whatever he has here Now we have our buttons. We're going to glue the heels on. Little shoe. <laughs> so cute. Now for the shoe, it has to be aligned with the base. So I have to stand him up and glue it on like this. As I look at this guy's head to his chest, I just still don't like how it looks. So I'm going to try putting a line here and see if that helps. It just still looks kind of weird. So I'm thinking about getting um, cutting a shape like a bow tie and just put that across there and see what that looks like. Okay, so there is our guy with his bow tie. I decided to do it black. And I also decided to scuff up his shoes a bit. And try to get him a little bit more worn he looks just a little too new i get so hesitant about doing that sort of thing because i get hesitant about doing that because i'm not sure if i'll do a good job of it but i think the shoes feel a little okay to do maybe i'll scuff the tie a little too yeah i haven't glued it down yet <laughs> There we go. Yeah, that, that actually breaks up some of that black in it. Oh, and I also use my rotary tool to kind of indent the sides of the middle. You can see that. I use the rotary tool to do that. Yeah, that's. I think that's better. It gives it a little bit more dusty look. I'm going to do that up here. You know. He doesn't look to, he doesn't need to look new. <laughs> After all, he you know his parts were taken out of the graveyard or whatever, so <laughs> I really should dry brush some black on it to try to even dirty him up a little bit more, but I don't know. And tell me what you think. Tell me if you would do that, if you would dirty him up, dry brush some black onto it. I, I get nervous about that. Well, that's a little better. Can you see? And so that's it. That's our little Frankenstein monster. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Any suggestions. Anything that you would have done differently. I thank you for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.